sale of the township front loader advertising requirement. So, um, we listed the front loader on municipid. Um, the advertising requirements, if a, another government agency purchases it, is different than if an individual. You don't have to put a article in a newspaper of general circulation if the buyer off a municipid ends up being another government agency, school district, whatever. But unfortunately, the person that won the bid or whatever is a private individual. We did not advertise this in the newspaper general circulation. Um, so we may have to start the process over again. Is that your consensus, Mr. Chair? That, yeah. That's what you... Yeah, I mean, but we did to make, and most important, we purchased the tailor to prepare for the winter season. Yeah, so... Um, we can deal with this. It's not a big deal, no. So, um, proceeding forward, um, I guess we were kind of hoping that the purchaser on municipal would be a municipality, but it wasn't. So, um, circling back, we, we're going to have to relist the front loader on municipal, and whatever we get for it. But, but first, we're going to place the article in newspaper yeah. general circulation, and that way, if an individual, a non-governmental agency wins that bid, that we can sell it to them. But and if, if the town, as I said before, if the township needs help with the ad, we can help with the ad. Okay. If it's a non-governmental agency, and we have a contract with that person releasing us from any future if, if, they, if they find <sighs> an ad on municipal that says it's sold as is, and that's what they're buying on, then yes, that, that it says it on the ad that it is sold yeah. as is, no warranty implied, no. But yeah, the sales agreement will reiterate. If I'm correct, if you look at the instructions, it should say they're buying as is condition, no warranties are made. At least the ones I've seen in the past. So there'll be a provision in that. That's in that uh, ad. Right. I've never seen anything else besides as is. So that way, if this same buyer or whatever right. wants to do it, but we're in a sticky situation because it wasn't a municipality. PFAPs stated that, hey, if a municipality or government agency of any sort was the prior, then you're good. If it's an individual, I don't know why. It seems kind of weird. It seems kind of weird that you have to advertise if you're going to sell it to an individual, but you don't have to advertise it if you're going to sell it to a government it's agency. The, it's one of the exemptions that you can it's, it's weird. <coughs> so, um, so the um, there's been no agreement signed for sale of the thing. The gentleman did send a check, so I guess we're instructing our treasurer to uh, mail the check back. And he wants to try again after we advertise it. Uh, is that a consensus of everybody? Yes. Okay. Okay. Address with Crest by Sunoco on Beaver Club Road. Is that the booster station that we're talking about? That's what they're talking about. So, in 2021, Sunoco subdivided a partial of property that was half in Union, half in Nottingham. They, Nottingham wouldn't allow them to do what they wanted to do, so they subdivided the property and decided to put whatever they're going to do or apply to do in the union side. The problem is they've now asked for an address to a landlocked piece of property in Union Township, but the access to that property would be going down the property and hitting Beagle Club Road in Nottingham. So their mailbox technically would be in Nottingham. But, Why would we get them an address? Well, and I question this because the next thing they asked for from the township in 2021 was a non-buildable waiver. So um, they asked to landlock their own property, and then they asked for a non-buildable waiver, and now they'd like a mailbox over in Nottingham for the union. I guess for the Phillyville Post Office to go all the way over to May. I don't know where we'd put a mailbox. Was there an easement or a shared access agreement? They do own the front property that hits Beagle Club, but nonetheless, technically, if your driveway comes out, wherever your driveway, it don't matter where your house faces, your driveway hits where you <coughs> And there are people that live on, like, 
the corner of Peters Township and, and Upper St. Clair or the corner of South Park. I lived on Berryman growing up across the street from me was South Park. I had a neighbor whose house was half in South Park, half in Bethel, it's where their driveway was. So if they do get an easement coming out, their address is going to end up being Nottingham. Just telling me to get a box. In the little box. <coughs> I don't know why they need two addresses. Why can't they just get an address for the other one? When an I spoke when I spoke to the Washington County 911, they don't have the address that this gentleman thinks he has. They have no record of any address on this property at all. I said that they they did a non-buildable waiver, so I don't think <coughs> there ever was an address to sign. I mean, they, they basically stated and signed that they weren't ever going to build anything there. Well, they're now proposing to build a home station. Well, who knows? They haven't applied for really anything. But um, they showed us a picture of some sort of. No, it was a. It wasn't a pump station. It was a um, compressor. compressor station. Compressor but it was station, centrifugal. Right. Centrifugal. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. they haven't really applied for anything, so I don't know what. So tell me, you it's going to cost between ten to fifteen million. Mm -hmm. Why? For the pump station, whatever. The whatever it is they're putting there, they have yeah. a flare, and I don't know. Never mind. My question for the solicitor was. When are you going to get in contact with them and tell them that the board felt that they should be able to go on? To my knowledge, he has. I've had a conversation. I said, whatever you do, present it. You know, just follow the, follow the township ordinance, submit it to the township, and we'll react to it accordingly. I cannot give, I'm not going to give somebody a pre supposed decision. So Without any real information. So, so, I just so is this something that we could say, do they really need an address now before they've submitted to do anything with this problem? My recommendation is, hold on, she's making a recommendation. Hey guys. Mr. Lika, Mr. Lika. Hey, thank you. Excuse me, Mr. Lika. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell, but I, we, we couldn't get you to hear us. He provided a deed in a subdivision that consolidated those two lots. They so consolidated it. They actually subdivided it. Yeah. They didn't well, consolidate it. subdivided, but those two lots, the one in Nottingham and the one in Meantown is one parcel. They have two different tax map numbers because you have two they different can't, They actually have went through a subdivision called the Barat subdivision. Mm -hmm. But they didn't here. consolidate that subdivision. So now they're considering it one again? It's still two. You provided us, yeah, and I'll share that with with Dennis. But if it is one lot, I don't see why you need <clears> to <throat> give it an address. Nottingham was assigned it because it fronts the township road there. My fear is if you gave the back parcel within Union Township, assuming this is all one, an address, they may turn around and sell that, and someone's going to think they can build on it because they have an address, but they really don't have access. You're right. You're right, Dennis. So your your advice is no. at this point do nothing. Either they go to Nottingham because it is condensed, correct, or they it's not condensed. Wait until it's whatever they apply. It is. <coughs> as I said to the guy, we had a couple conversations. A nice gentleman, but whatever they're going to do, make an application, follow the township rules and or ordinances, uh, ordinances, and we'll go from there. But send me a call. I have to see what you're talking about. Sandy. Yes. I'd like to see what's going on because now I'm sort of curious. If you're saying they subdivide and consolidate, okay. 